Hey, it's Aaron here and this quick tutorial video today will be all about the archive. So the my archive or your archive in your case. So as you can see, I've got 259 rewritten articles right here in my archive, but this will help us go through a lot of the features we have here. So let's get going with some of the basic ones. These are our articles and you can see their titles. And if we click one of these articles, we are taken back to step three where we see the spin text of this article and if we want we can generate a unique article right out of it and compare it side by side with the original article. So by going back to the archive here's some more stuff we can do. Like if we click this little edit button we can rename the article name in, in terms of what it appears like in the archive. So we could say this is the latest article we've worked with, rename it and from now on in our archive it will appear under this name and if we click it we still get back to the same exact article as before this just lets us keep track of our articles more more easily now as you can also see we have categories here and some of the articles are uncategorized some are categorized under guitar lessons and we could take this article right here and use one of these buttons like we can either download this article we can change the article category or we can delete this article. So this article clearly is talking about guitar lessons. So let's go with this option, change article category. And we will select a category and we will go with guitar lessons update category. OK. And as you can see, discover guitar lesson tools is now filed under the category of guitar lessons. So this is pretty handy, right? As you can see, we have multiple pages of our articles here. So we can go to page two by clicking on the two, the page three like this, we can go back. This is exactly as you would expect. So another thing I wanted to show you is we, you have your categories right up here. So we have the categories that I've created before listed here with the number of articles that appear in each category. Now, if we go to cars and airplanes where I don't have any articles, we get this nice graphic and it says you don't have any articles in this category. When you assign some articles to this category, they will appear here. And we can go spin an article for this category. Or we could simply go back to all articles and take a look at this Porsche or Ferrari article right here and change it so that it goes into the cars and airplanes category. And as you can see, we now have an article right here in this category. Now, let's also talk about renaming categories, which is you simply go to, you have the drop down list of all categories here and you have the edit button. So if you click the edit button, you will see the categories here and you can easily rename them if you want, or you can delete them. Now, if you delete a category, Spin Rewriter will say, hold on a second, do you really want to delete this category? Any articles from this category will be marked as uncategorized, which kind of makes sense, we thought anyway. So we're not going to delete it, but we're going to cancel this operation. We can, in fact, create a new category. So German car brands. And we add this category. And our new category has been successfully created. But as we can see here, it doesn't have any, any articles inside of it. So we could now go back to all articles, take a look at this article we've been, we've been talking about before. If you forgot how to update its name, this is how you do it. Rename it back and change its category to German car brands. And as you can see, it's now assigned to German car brands. Now, if we go back to the edit categories option, and we, for example, delete the German car brands category, those articles will be marked as uncategorized. So this time, let's go ahead with it. Your category has been successfully deleted. Any articles have been marked as uncategorized. And as you can see, this is exactly what happened here. So the Porsche or Ferrari article is now uncategorized. Now, as I said before, you can download each of the articles or you can delete it. And what's usually much more handy than that is you can select multiple articles at the same time and then use these actions right here as bulk actions. 
So for example, if I wanted to move those two articles from uncategorized and guitar lessons respectively to let's say demo articles category, I just do this. And as you can see, we have the demo articles here and the demo articles here. And if we open the demo articles category, they will appear right in there. So in the title of this video, I also promised you one little advanced trick that you might not have come across by simply by using SpinRider yourself. So as you can see, I have 259 articles right here. And maybe instead of having them on 26 pages, I would prefer to just see all of them at once so I can do some really big bulk operations. Like maybe I want to delete 150 of them and I just want to go across all of the articles once. So here's the trick you can do. So we've got the page one, page two, page 26, next page, and you've got this little ellipsis thingy, three dots. And if you click this option, Spin Rewriter will give you the hidden feature of displaying all articles on a single page. So if you have a large collection of articles, this might take a while. But if you click the yes, show all articles, should we try it? I have a lot of articles. Oh, this was actually pretty quick. We now see all of my articles on a single page and it's just endless, endless articles. So yeah, this was a quick overview of the archive and all of the power it gives you. And I hope you liked it. Thank you for being one of our amazing Spin Rewriter users and have a great day.